Okay, here is an update. I was wrong, so I wanted to correct myself. This is how your uh, motherboard should be like. And remember, here are the keys, F11, F10, F7, and so forth. So, you want to hit the top one, we'll go into there. Keep everything just like it is. That's for optimization. Uh, core performance boost, you can enable that. Uh, pretty much everything else is the same, except one difference, and I had to find out the hard way. Don't update your BIOS unless you absolutely have to. I ruined my computer, I had to reformat the whole thing. But lucky for me, I make backups. So, so now remember, enable if you want to uh, boost, enable it. Um, Currently with that, I would get 4100 uh, megahertz. Also, let's go to the other screen. Down here to advanced BIOS features. Um, I had disabled uh, C1 support, C6 support, virtualization, K8, cool, K8, cool and quiet control. Disabled all those. And you want to set the CPU core to manual. That'll disable one core per unit. And that'll enable all six cores or eight cores, depending on your processor. But basically, that's what you want to have. You want to have it just like this for optimization. This is not overclocking. But it runs now, and it doesn't kind of feel like you're treading water. Basically... I didn't have all the cores enabled and it felt like uh, you know, it would chitter or stop and go. So you want to make sure that this right here is disabled. That's the most important thing. And disable one, two, three, four. Auto line control, I'm not really sure about that, but I left it on auto and it doesn't seem to affect my gaming. Battlefield four. And that game has a lot of uh, graphic intents. So, I just wanted to show everybody that I did make uh, some errors and I did correct this with this new video. This is with my camera. It's a Kodak. Runs on battery. It's not core. But, as you can see, we'll go down here and check everything else. I'm not overclocking, so I don't, dis I don't mess with any of this stuff. This is not for overclocking, it's just for away mode, a full screen logo, that kind of stuff. But let me get back to the other one. If you want to overclock, here's a tip. Disable this. Core, perfus, core performance boost. If you're going to overclock, disable this first. And without me knowing too much about overclocking, in, uh, Windows 7 did not like it. I had it at 4400 or 22 times. Windows did not like it. It gave me a blue screen of death. So I assumed that I had to uh, increase the voltage. But there are external programs that you can use for overclocking. Just, just uh, an update since I made a mistake on the last video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you just don't know how to do it, just hit F7 to up on optimize defaults. And remember to disable the other things. Thank you for watching my video at pchelpblog.net for June 10th, 2015.